next we are going to see how to find the angle between two planes the angle between two intersecting planes is defined to be the acute angle determined by their normal vectors let vector n1 and vector n2 be the normal vectors of first and second plane respectively these two planes are intersecting then the angle between these two planes is theta equal to cos inverse of vector n1 dot vector n2 divided by magnitude of vector n1 into magnitude of vector n2 consider the problem find the angle between the planes 3x minus 6y minus 2z equal to 15 and 2x plus y minus 2z equal to 5. Normal vector to the first plane is vector n1 equal to 3 vector i minus 6 vector j minus 2 vector k. Also the normal vector to the second plane is vector n2 equal to 2 vector i plus vector j minus 2 vector k. Then vector n1 dot vector n2 equal to 3 vector i minus 6 vector j minus 2 vector k dot 2 vector i plus vector j minus 2 vector k which will be equal to 4. Also the magnitude of vector n1 is 7 and magnitude of vector n2 equal to 3. Substituting these values in the equation theta equal to cos inverse of vector n1 dot vector n2 divided by magnitude of vector n1 into magnitude of vector n2 which is equal to cos inverse of 4 by 21 which will be equal to 1.38 radians. Next consider the problem find a vector parallel to the line of intersection of the planes 3x minus 6y minus 2z equal to 15 and 2x plus y minus 2z equal to 5. From the first equation of the plane 3x minus 6y minus 2z equal to 15 the vector normal to the plane is vector n1 equal to 3 vector i minus 6 vector j minus 2 vector k. Similarly, normal vector to the second plane 2x plus y minus 2z equal to 5 is vector n2 equal to 2 vector i plus vector j minus 2 vector k. From the figure, we can see that both vector n1 and vector n2 are orthogonal to the planes so their cross product n1 cross n2 will be a vector perpendicular to both of these vectors so that vector is parallel to the line of intersection so the vector which we have to be find is vector n1 cross vector n2 vector n1 cross vector n2 equal to determinant vector i vector j vector k 3 minus 6 minus 2 2 1 minus 2 which on simplification is equal to 14 vector i plus 2 vector j plus 15 vector k any non-zero scalar multiple of this vector n1 cross vector n2 will also be parallel to the line of intersection of these two planes. Another problem is find the parametric equations for the line in which the planes 3x minus 6y minus 2z equal to 15 and 2x plus y minus 2z equal to 5 intersect. To find the parametric equation of the line we need two things we have to find a point on the line and a vector parallel to the line in the previous problem we have already find the vector parallel to the line of intersection of 
these two planes which is found to be vector v equal to a vector i plus b vector j plus c vector k equal to 14 vector i plus 2 vector j plus 15 vector k. To find the point on the line of intersection, we have to solve these two equations. Putting z equal to 0 in the equation of these two planes, we have 3x minus 6y equal to 15 and 2x plus y equal to 5. Now, we have two equations in two unknowns. Solving these two equations, we get x equal to 3 and y equal to minus 1. Together with z equal to 0, we get a point on the line p naught x naught y naught z naught which is equal to 3 minus 1 0. So, we have a vector parallel to the line and a point on the line. Now, substituting this in the standard parametric equation for the line x equal to x naught plus ta equal to 3 plus 14t y equal to y naught plus tb which is equal to minus 1 plus 2t z equal to z naught plus tc which is equal to 0 plus 15t equal to 15t minus infinity less than t less than infinity.